Hi guys, Zabie here bringing you a brand new video. In today's video we are doing another deck profile for uh, Force of Will. And uh, today we have our Sylvia deck. Um, this, I, I'm just going to put a disclaimer now. This is before the Alice Cluster constructed format. Um, I built this deck. It's probably going to change to be more for the the uh, Alice Cluster constructed format, which you can only use Alice Cluster cards. But uh, I really wanted to do this video beforehand because uh, if you still want to play New Frontiers till the uh, actual uh, change in the in the fall, then uh, you know this is a really 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 strong and consistent deck. Uh, I call it Sylvia Burn, Red Green Sylvia Burn, and uh, it's really really fast and uh, very good. And uh, I really liked this deck, but. Uh, I do understand that uh, it may be a little too good. Yeah, you know, like half this deck is uh, Grim Cluster, so uh, I will get right to it. First up, we have uh, Sylvia. Uh, very good card. Um, pretty much <clears throat> makes it so all your uh, your uh, fire magic stones can also produce green. I mean, that's pretty much her only ability, and then it costs uh, red or green and uh, two colorless, or two void to, uh, to J-Activator. <clears throat> and then we have our other side, which is uh, still Sylvia, but or in her dragon form. It has flying and swiftness. Uh, it's really good because it does it deals 1,000 damage to a target resonator, and uh, if, it kills, if this card kills a card, then uh, you get three of your stones... Uh, um, restored. So, a very good card. Uh, normally, I don't J activate until I'm going to like swing for game. Like, just pop them out, a thousand. If they have a thousand or less, you just, you know, game over. <laughs> uh, quickly do the stones because they're uh, very simple. We have uh, four magic stone of burning waves. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to be taking this out soon just for four. Uh, Fire Magic Stones, but originally I kept them in here in case uh, I did uh, J, J activate for uh, Sylvia. And uh, when when uh, she's uh, a J ruler on the field, uh, you lose your uh, your uh, Fire Magic Stones being able to produce wind. So this is uh, that's why there's four of that. Um, and before the format, I was considering dropping it down to uh, two or three, uh, just because of a certain card in this deck we'll get to here soon anyway, and uh, you'll see. Then uh, the rest of the uh, stones are just regular fire magic stones, because there's no point in running, running anything else really in uh, this build, at least in my opinion. So uh, that's that. And uh, we'll go uh, quickly through the uh, resonators. We have four Ruck Egg, um, standard pretty much in every single uh, red deck, you know, in Force of Will, it's your searcher. Um, it's going to be a little hard to kill them off, but um, <clears throat> even if you just play them and you don't have a Cthulhu in your hand or, um, or a Guinevere, you just uh, put them into play and uh, your opponent doesn't really want to attack, they'll hold off, so this can stall games too, if need be, but normally doesn't uh, come down to it. Um, I run two uh, <clears throat> little sprites here, and uh, flame sprites, and uh, they're, they're just a, you know an extra one drop, and uh, it has flying and swiftness, so if you get it in your first hand, you can just swing for 200 first turn. Um, pretty simple. And uh, I also like its other effect where uh, if you uh, rest it, you can deal 100 damage to a resonator and uh, for each fairy you have, and she's a fairy herself, so 100 damage and uh, you can combo it with another card and just insta-kill anything. So I really like that. Next is probably the main card. This is the only uh, two drop of the deck. These are the one drops. These are the only two drops. We run uh, four Lancelot. Because uh, it's just it's such a good card. <clears throat> Obviously, it has swiftness, so you can just attack with it um, when it's summoned. And if it has a thousand or more attack, um, when it attacks, you can deal 700 damage to another target. 
and uh, it's just super good. Um, probably one of my favorite uh, red cards in general, and uh, just a really good card. Next is the the pretty much your uh, main play with the deck is uh, Cthuga. Um, it has swiftness, and uh, even though it's a three drop, the main thing is you can pretty much uh, banish one of your own uh, resonators and just play a uh, red resonator and just play them for free. Again, he has swiftness, so you can uh, technically summon like a or call a, out a ruck egg, uh, just kill off the ruck egg and just bring him out. Attack for 500, and you still get the search with the with the ruck egg. Next card is four of Prisia. Uh This is a, such a good card. <laughs> I can't believe how good this card is. Um, costs uh, one red, one green, and one void, <clears throat> which is uh, not hard whatsoever with this deck. Not even in the slightest. But this card has swiftness. It has target attack. It has first strike. Then if you pay an extra green, it gets flying as well. Then if it dies, it inflicts 500 to your opponent. So it doesn't really matter if this card dies, because the point of uh, this deck is to inflict damage to your opponent's life points and kill them as fast as you can. And uh, with all that combined, this is one of the best cards of the deck for sure. Then we have our, uh, our, final, resonator, our final resonator, which is uh, just a really good card, which is uh, Susanoo. And uh, it has Swiftness, it has Pierce, and uh, you can take another card, another addition that's in this deck that's in your hand. You can just equip it to him. It's called uh, Aino uh, Habakari. And uh, <clears throat> overall, just a really good card. It's 12-12. And um, base, I've, I never hardly ever use this card whatsoever. Uh, it's better against dragons because it'll cost less. If your opponent has a dragon, you just pop it on the field. Uh, it's pretty much for a late game if you can't get that win and you need a boss uh, boss uh, resonator, you just pop them into the field. Next up, we're going to go through our spells. We have uh, Four Thunder, just a free 500 to a resonator or uh, to life points. Very good card. Um, again, these are all uh, one drops for the, uh, for the spells. Our next one drop is uh, Demon Flame. Uh, this is a really good card. This is the card I was mentioning to go with Flame Sprite. You deal 100 damage to uh, to a Resonator, and you just play this, and it just kills them. Uh, no matter you know again what their uh, their uh, defense is, because you can either deal 500 damage to a target Resonator, or if it's already had a damage done to it this turn, you can just kill it. Next up, I run two of the. Uh, growths here. Um, it's, this is a really good card because it only costs one and it's, a, it's an instant and it gives one of your creatures 4-4 four, four, four till the end of the turn. Then you can uh, remove it from play from your graveyard and do it again. So a uh, super good card, especially with Lancelot if you need to get the dexter power. Um, I really wanted to run more but I couldn't bring myself to take anything else out of the deck to run more. But again, now that um, we're going to go into the uh, the Alice, Con uh, Alice Constructed format, it'll probably go up to three or four. Next is a True Drop, which is probably, in my opinion, the best card of the deck. As I drop one, we have four Split Heaven and Earth. This deals 300 damage to each player for each special magic stone you control, which is why I was considering running less of uh, these guys because they're special magic stones and uh, there were a lot of special magic stones just running about and it wasn't hard to you know get uh, too much in and normally if I uh, drew into two of these cards it was game um, which is pretty insane which is this is a grim cluster card so uh, you can see why uh, this is one of the reasons I think this and uh, Cthulhu I think were some of the bigger reasons that uh, they wanted to end the uh, end the cluster, the Grim Cluster, a little early. So next up, our next two drop, we have Amino Hukbari, which is super, super good. It gives one of your resonators 400-400. Uh, it's basically uh, it's an addition, which is an equip. And um, 
it gives them, again, 400, 400, and then if it does damage to another resonator, that will inflict the uh, damage to the life points. Um, equal to how much damage you dealt to that uh, resonator, which is crazy, which definitely works with the deck, uh, dealing um, just crazy amounts of damage. Next up, we have three Purifying Flame. Um, basically, has two effects. The second one is deal a thousand damage to a target human, which I never use. Uh, the main purpose of it was pay two and inflict 700 to your opponent's life points, and. That was it. Just, you know, going for more damage. And last but not least, we have Triple Flame King's uh, Shout, and it's just such a good card. Um, deals 400 damage to all your opponent's creatures, and then you can get a, a Fire Resonator from your hand and just put it into play that has a cost of 3 or less. And it gains Swiftness to the end of the turn, but that part's irrelevant because everything in this deck has Swiftness already. But it's just a really good card. Really good uh, combo play, and uh, definitely a great card. And uh, note that's a three drop, not a two drop. So uh, that is my deck. That is my Sylvia Burn deck. Um, it was it was a very very good deck. It's a great deck for New Frontiers. Um, definitely enjoyed uh, using this deck while I had it, which wasn't too super long, at least in my opinion, because um, I don't know, because I'm still fairly new to the game. And uh, I didn't. I don't feel like I got enough time with this deck, but again, I can see why, and it's probably for the best in the end. And it's it's kind of fun uh, being able to only use these cards. But I'm I'm probably going to stick with this deck till uh, Battle for Erratica comes out. And uh, yeah, that's the deck. And uh, I hope it helps you if you're going to still play uh, New Frontiers. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, obviously. But uh, I just. I personally am just going to do it just because Grim Cluster has some really strong cards and uh, I think it's more fun to play against a more diverse, more, play with more diversity. So that's why I'm personally going to be doing it. So uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any suggestions for uh, changing this deck and moving it into Al's Cluster Constructed, um, please feel free to let me know. But if you're going to still play New Frontiers, I really hope this helped you and give you a few ideas. So uh, you all have an awesome day.